Yo! What's going on everybody? Welcome yourself to my brand new series, or like, brand new old series, I don't know. Refer to it however you want, see it as how you want, but today people were finally going to start a brand new series. A brand new series to some, I should say, because some longtime viewers, like I said, will know damn well that I have actually attempted a series on this before, but I never finished it, so here we are today, people attempting to do this series once more and personally I've I never feel right uh, when I give the characters different names from their default and everything it just doesn't feel right you know plus it's like I'm just so used to calling them by these names and referring to them by this it's like I, I can't I can't just simply take that away you know although omelets I would very happily change but no 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 no, no. That, that defeats the purpose of it everything's everything's gonna be normal Everything. We're, we're going by the books, okay? Some people like it, some people don't. It's whatever. At the end of the day, I'm just here to have some fun playing some video games, entertain some people, blah, blah, blah. You get the point. I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go grape. Grape is always just... I don't know. I've always liked the grape-flavored window color. It's, it's just... It looks nice. And with that, I think we're good. So we got Lucas, Klaus, Flint, Hanawa, Bony, Omelets, Love, and Fast. Okay, don't don't pair those last two together. But there we go. All that introduction stuff is out of the way, at least for naming characters. And now we get into the very long actual introduction of the game. So welcome to the world of Mother 3. Now let me just say this right now. Uh, in between now and when I originally did a lot of this game I have forgotten a lot of stuff and if I repeat myself over from that by the way nowhere islands if I repeat myself over from that series I do apologize it's been that long that I don't even know if I'll be repeating myself when I make certain jokes or say certain things about certain things but let me just say this as well this game is beautiful I mean I mean that in like a visual way but also like every other way, honestly. And now we have Tasmili Village, but... This game is just a really, really good-looking game. Like, for a Game Boy game out of everything, it looks damn fantastic. On top of that, an RPG... A JRPG, rather, of Mother 3's caliber... Being on a Game Boy is... It's a little bizarre. But it's also really damn impressive. Oh boy. Here we are, people. Home of Alec, Hinawa's father. <laughs> oh my god. We're back here. Got the knock knock. <laughs> oh man, I wonder who this is. Totally not our protagonist. Alright, come on, buddy. Get on up. Get the fuck up. <laughs> Lucas, how long are you gonna sleep? Get up so we can play. Get up already. The dragons brought or brought their babies over. They're really cute. Hurry up. Yeah, Lucas, stop being a fucking lazy shit, man. What the hell is wrong with you? Those dragons are waiting for us. Now let's see, do we I'm trying to remember. Can we even run right now? I don't I'm I don't fucking know. A real wood burning stove. The same bed head as always. <laughs> uh no problem here. No problem here. I'm just Adjusting myself- no, not sleep mode. I'm just adjusting myself with everything. Okay, nothing there. Equip, nothing there. Good, nothing there. I'm just- I'm just making sure I got everything... ...down. Hold up. One thing I'm certainly probably don't have down... ...is L and R. Oh god, I feel like I don't have that mapped... ...to my, um... ...controls, and if I don't, oh well, basically. I'll just figure it out in the long run. <laughs> Whatever though, for now, it doesn't really matter. We're way too early in the game for it to really matter as much, but... Hello. Good morning, Mr. Sleepyhead Lucas. Class has been up for a while, playing with the Dragos. Alright. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Scoot upstairs and change your clothes. <laughs> no! <laughs> that you can stay inside in your pajamas for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay, jeez. No, okay, fine. I'll fucking change my clothes, mom. Gosh. Gosh. Can we run now? Yes, we can. Whoa! Apologies if, uh, like, the little 
keyboard clicking sound gets annoying to anybody. I don't- you probably can't- you can't hear it as much, uh, as I hear it, of course, because, you know, I'm right in front of the goddamn thing, but I apologize if that gets annoying to anyone, that's just my keyboard. I like playing Game Boy games with the keyboard, personally, but whatever. If you bump into Hanawa here, she gives you some nut bread. Nut bread is pretty damn useful because it's one of the best healing items you can get at this point of the game and for a pretty decently long time or so, so get as much as you can, basically. But here we go. And now for one of my favorite themes to kick in, so hold up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it play a little bit, you know, let you enjoy it. I just love the startup so much. Ah yes, we're about- we're less than 10 minutes into this damn series, and I'm already gushing over the music. Expect that to happen at least once per episode, basically. Ah, uh, so I kinda glossed over what Alex said, so let me- let me go see. Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Well, today is the day you head back home. I'm gonna miss you guys. Alright. He didn't say anything too crazy, nothing too super interesting. But you know, it's some nice information No, Hey, we got a frog! Hello, frog. A story is a series of memories. Memories are remembered with other memories, and in turn become memories themselves. If you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please tell us frogs your memories of everything so far. That's what people refer to as saving. Now then, hop, save your game? Yeah! So, oh, una unable to, uh, un unable to, what? Okay then. You know, I'm not- I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna worry too much about that then. That's, uh... It's a little weird that I can't save, but... Emulators are a little finicky with Mother 3, I'll be perfectly honest. It's only, luckily, saving things. Uh, there's not- it's, there's not too much of a problem with emulating Mother 3 aside from saving. Uh, and even then you might not even encounter that, but... Just be wary of that if you're playing along, by the way. And... If there are any of you watching who's fir who this is your first time seeing this game in action, I do recommend you play along. It is a rather... I wouldn't say super difficult game, but it it can get pretty difficult. So, uh, if you are playing along, I do also recommend you kind of just take your time with it. Don't try and rush through anything just so you can catch up to wherever I may be at. But anyway... <sighs> whew, I'm beat. Well, yeah, because you've been running into fucking dinosaurs, man, but I've been play fighting with the Dragos all morning. You should play too, Lucas. Uh, <laughs> yes. That's... Okay, I guess that's a response to that, but... Here, try ramming into a Drago. Klaus! Lucas still doesn't know how to ram into things yet. Hey, yes I do! I've played this game before. Lucas! Try to imagine a thing called a B button. And then hold that... or hold that B button for a second and then let go. Doing this will let you dash. And by using this dash ability, you can ram into that Drago there. Close. Show him an example. Alright. I, I mean, it's not like I literally just used it like two seconds before I walked in here. But clearly Klaus knows best. Anyway. Yes, just like that. Now it's your turn, Lucas. Give it a try. Alright. Alright. You'll never succeed with such a sullen look on your face. That holds true for anything, just relax. I mean, to be fair, we all have a very sullen look on our faces. Look at- look at Klaus! Don't give me that shit, man, but alright. Chabam! Whoa! I can't believe it. Alright. I'm gonna ram into it again. Chabam! Holy fuck, man. I like- I like the little details in this area. For one, there's like, you know... The little baby Drago just sort of follows you around wherever you walk, or more so, follows you with its eyes wherever you walk. And then you got the other Drago in the back that is, it's not doing much, but it's got tiny little details, like, you know, it's just it's just breathing in and out, all that sort of stuff, like, it's a cool little detail, you know? Now what? The harder you run into them, the more the Dragos like it, alright? Wait, move, move it! Out of the way! Make sure, or make way for the Great Mole Cricket! Oh no. Wow, yes. I can't just sit idly by when I hear someone's play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you. Get in my way and, and you're in for a world of pain. 
Oh no, I cannot believe it. A very, very dangerous fight. You encountered the mole cricket. Oh no. Whatever shall we fight? Okay, uh, just gonna bash, because that's all we can really do right now, but the mole cricket used a biting attack. Plus attacks. Damn it! Oh, I got two hits off right there, but that is not too much. So, some people who may not be too familiar with this game or anything might be wondering what the hell just happened with the whole two hit things. Why can you hit two two times or whatever, or more than that? Well, the main reason I prefer this game over any of the previous Mother games, and in general consider it one of the best RPGs to ever exist aside from its story, visuals, and music, is because the battle system has that extra layer of, um, interactivity with it. The whole combo melody thing. Basically, there's like a beat hidden in every single theme, and if you hit it to the rhythm of- or if you- if you press your button, like the A button, whatever the hell you want to call it, I don't know if you have it assigned to anything different, but if you press that in rhythm with the music, even though, keep in mind, it's not the exact rhythm that's apparent. It might be, it might not be. Uh, you can get up to 16 hits in total. Keep in mind, this is only for your bash, though. It's not for items or PSI abilities. Anyway, Lucas and company earned two experience points. That's not that much, but okay. <laughs> I see you have more of a spine than I thought. If you'd like, I could train you personally sometime. Next time we meet, it'll be at the Big Mole Cricket Hole Stadium? I look forward to seeing you there. Bro. <laughs> okay. The hell just happened? Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, no! I stepped on a mole cricket. I hope it's alright. He's fucking dead. <laughs> Lunch is ready, everyone. My major favorite, boys. Omelets! Ooh, lunch, lunch, omelets! Yes, Klaus, that is exactly what she said. Thank you for your very, very crazy observation and insight, but you too, Dad. I love how, like, this theme sort of gives off a weird feeling of... I wouldn't say uncertainty, but it's just like there's a vibe that something's just... weird. Anyway, now then... Oh? Listen, folks, here's how to save. Talk to frogs. This is how you save. It's not too tedious or troublesome, so you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Plus, saving is absolutely free. Now then, it's time for me to return to the story. <laughs> I love how they had to break the fourth wall there. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> you saved me some omelets too, I hope? Nah, man, they're all fucking gone. What's your favorite food, mo food, mom? Oh, omelets? Then your favorite is the same as ours? We make a good match. After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Don't be silly. I bet the kids could make it here on their- or yeah, I bet the kids could make it here on their own. It's that safe. I bet even you could handle it, Lucas. <laughs> hey, that's not nice. Fuck you, Alec. <laughs> you- you're an asshole, man. Come on now. That was not nice. I don't appreciate that comment, Alec. But oh boy, here we got one of these. It's a lot to read, so give me a moment, so... Dear Flint, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is as daring and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit cod coddled. That is a weird word, but... But neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long. But we should try to... Or, but we should be home by this evening. I'd forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tazmilly Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in this air. The next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we can all come up here as a family. Klaus, Lucas, and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favor favorite omelets right away. With love, your dearest Hanawa. And it slowly pans away.
What the fuck? Hmm. I wonder what that could have been. Ah, uh, now we have the title card. Whoa. Mother 3. God, I love that theme. So much. So fucking good. It's just like... It has a nice feeling of triumph. Even though you've done absolutely nothing up until this point, it has that nice feeling of triumph and sounds so, so, so satisfying. But we're finally playing Mother 3? Oh! Oh, that is- oh, okay, that is an instant change in mood. Jesus Christ, okay. Oh man, another good theme! Now, okay, one thing I'm gonna ask you guys to do is, um, try and pay attention to melodies and motifs in the songs. And if you're like, the fuck is the melody or motif? Just pay attention to things that may sound similar because there's a reasoning for similar sounds in mu in these themes and everything. There's a reason because they may be, like songs with the same melodies, they have a connection. There is a reasoning for it. It makes sense. It's not just there just to sound good. I mean, yeah, it's there to sound good, but it's also there to like serve a purpose as well as sounding good, you know? <gasps> oh my god. We have the one and only, the, the true star of this whole game, everybody's favorite character, totally not forgettable in any way, shape, or form. He totally only serves a purpose for like two seconds here, and then he's just sort of there, but... Chapter 1, Night of the Funeral. So that's a very, very haunting name, if I'm perfectly honest, for this first chapter. But yet again... There's- there's a lot of detail put into just about every aspect of this game, so don't take anything lightly, basically. I wouldn't say take everything literally as well, but... Try and, um, try and interpret things your own way, if you can. Anyway, Flint! 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 It's a fire! A fire! A fire! <laughs> the Sunshine Forest is on a hu- or is on fire in a huge, fiery, flamey fire! Oh boy. Now as you can tell, we're no longer playing as Lucas. We are now playing... As their father, Flint, who, uh, for some reason, is a cowboy, but... Yeah. It's a nice little random change, but... May as well get used to it. You gotta do something quick! Flint! It's the forest, the forest, the forest, the forest is on fire! <laughs> oh boy, jeez! Who would lock their door in a village as peaceful as ours? Flint! Ah! The doorknob! Why'd you have to come off at a time like this? <laughs> ah! Doorknob! I, I mean Flint! There's no time to be dozing off! There's a huge fire in the sunshine forest! Poor Boney got waken up by that, like, come on. Anyway, bad times like this calls for reckless nice guys like you. Please come, Flint! Please! Uh, no! Okay, yes. Whoa, Thomas is in our party! Whoa! I'll follow behind you. What? What's so wrong with that? I happen to like following behind people. Alright, Thomas, you do you. But shabam, whoa! Hey, Bonnie, how you doing, buddy? He's hiding something inside his doghouse. And that is... A steak! Okay, that's actually really damn useful. Hey, Flint! That stick should make a good weapon in case anything happens. Be sure to equip it first, though. Just hold- okay, yeah, I, I- I get it. I- I- I get it, Thomas, I know what I'm doing. So yes, there are weapons and things that you must equip. This is an RPG, after all. But there's nothing of interest there, it's just... The animals. We have our little save frog right here, who... We can't save with, for some reason! Can we like- no, we, we just can't save in general. I don't- I don't get it. I'll figure that out next part, okay? I apologize that I can't show off the wonderful feature that is saving, but... 
whatever. It, it's not too crazy, it's not too bad. But, uh, I'd recommend exploring around here a little bit before you decide to move on. God damn it. There we go. Some nut bread, yeah! Now, sadly, we don't have the nut bread that we got earlier because that was Lucas's inventory and not ours. Yeah, now. So, let's see. Anything else of interest around here? No, not really. Doesn't seem like it, at least. Alright. Hello there. Perfectly normal looking person. Ah, Flint! Your name is Biff. The whole sky north of here is pitch black with smoke! Oh, that does not sound good at all. Oh, dear. Let's go. Let's be on our way, Thomas. Come on. There's a lot of people we can talk to, but actually, wait, wait. Before we do, hello. If you need something from the map loving and map owning maps, then it must be a map, yes? Please, feel free to take one with you. Got a Tasmili map. You're worried about lighter shack deep inside the sunshine forest, yes? I've marked that area on the map for you. N thank you for the lag, Visual Boy Advance. I love it. Your map's been marked. Please hurry and see if this- or if he needs help. Oh, whoops. Silly me. Forgot to tell you how to check the map, didn't I? To check the map, you need to- how do I put this? Uh, fill your right- or fill your right index finger with the wish or strength. To put it more bluntly, I guess, do some- <laughs> something R button-ish. Alright. So, let's see. Wait, wait, oh! I was wondering what the hell my keys for that were, but okay, I, I got it now, don't worry, put R button. So that's a key. It marked where the hell we need to go, so that little circled area is where we need to go, so let's goddamn go! Wait, before we move on, I want to check something. I don't remember if this is actually available to us right now or not, but... Okay, no, now is not the time for that, apparently. Yeah, 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 alright, let, let's go out of here then. Let's go save the day! Hello, frog whom I can't save with. It is quite a shame that I really- It's seriously such a fucking shame that I can't save with the frog. But whatever. Let's look around here. Hey! Hey, letter! Uh, can you see the fire from there? Hey, hey I said. I see he's as non-talkative as ever. Yeah, letter's a strange fellow. He's really fucking tall, but you know, he just- He just doesn't talk. Flint got a nut! <laughs> oh, I'm mature. I'm very mature. Let's see, there's some items around here. Uh, you can choose to get them if you really want to. The small little weird things that look like doorknobs on the ground are indeed nuts. So if you really do ever need that extra oomph for health and everything, I recommend picking it up. You might not though, it just really depends on how well or how new, uh, you play rather. But let's see, what's up ahead? Alright. So it's in our best interest to head on over this way. Hello lady, what do you gotta say? Even if I did go ahead, I know I'd be no help at all. What should I do? I mean, <laughs> you, you can't really do anything now, can you? Hey, what are you two guys doing? <laughs> no, what are you doing? Quit pushing that. Alright, you quit it. Seriously, stop. Keep pushing that. Oh, he's pressing- uh, he's talking about the A button. Why do you keep pushing it? See, you did it again! If you keep doing this, I'm gonna- <laughs> Just so you know, if something bad happens to me, it's all because you kept pressing that stupid thing. Alright, Jesus, man. The flames started coming our way, so we ran out of here, or we ran here with all our might. But old Lighter and Little Fuel are still stuck in the forest. Yes. Their names are Lighter and Fuel. It's, it's interesting, but whatever. May the forest and the people and the animals and I have, or I all have happiness. Oh, Flint, good to see you here. I think it's only proper to offer a prayer here before going into the forest. I mean, yeah, may as well. Please answer with a calm mind. Please answer your name. Yes, the name of the person playing this game. So they're talking about us, so... Gonna put... My name... And then, okay. Understood. George. Your name is George, correct? Uh, yes, that's why I... <laughs> no, that's why I put it, you know, but... Okay then, please continue to enjoy the game. After I count down from three, you will forget you were ever asked this question. Three, two, one. Have you forgotten? No. You must forget. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. But people! I'm sorry if you wanted a bit of a longer episode, but I'm gonna have to cut this episode right here. Oh man, it's been a nice little introduction or starting part, hasn't it? I'll see you guys back again 
on Wednesday, I think it is. I don't... It's... Days are confusing. Anyway, with that, people, I hope you have enjoyed this first part of my Mother 3 series. There's more to come, of course. If you have enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, as well as a comment. Be sure to subscribe. If you're really feeling it, I shall see you guys back again soon for another part. Bye-bye.